XGS WebSockets. Last week we saw how we could create WebSockets on the server with Node.js. This week we will see how we can use RxJS with their WebSockets functionality. So one thing that fascinates me a lot was the fact that with RxJS you could create a stream and uh, just within uh, the functionality of RxJS 6. So I thought that's great to um, create a video around that. Let's go. So first of all, I'm going to create a new Angular application called Client. So one of the things that will become very important in the following, we need to put here an input field. And then here I need to say change. Send to server. And of course here I need to put dollar event. Another thing that's very important to do is uh, put here ng model, right? So you can very easily bind a property to it. Alright, so when we go now to this or app.component.ts, we can add here a message. We go back here, I'm gonna remove value. It's also very important to import. Uh, forms module so we will do that this is necessary for our ng model otherwise uh, we will get an error right so then we have here sent to server and then here I'm going to extend my class with sends to server. And now the magic begins because now we need to add here import web socket from rxgs slash web socket. Great. Then we're going to define a subject here with our address to our WebSocket server, right? And then here I'm going to put this dot subject dot subscribe. You need to do that because when you you are not subscribing to that subject, uh, no connection will be uh, will be made. So it's very ne it's it's necessary to create a subscribe for that. The next thing that we need to do is this dot subject dot next and then our message property and then we need to say to our subject complete so that our stream ends right So now we can start our application. Uh, 
and in another tab we can start our node server so now let's take a look to our uh, web application and here we see that we have a websocket right and go to the websocket tab then when i do enter here or i just say uh, type with me right you'll see that we have here a uh, local host we have here connected and we have here type with me when i do or send something else see he creates another uh, web socket connection and we send something through that web socket right when we go back to our node.js web socket server you'll see that we print out everything that was being sent to uh, our web socket server so next week we can work further upon this and uh, try to create for example a chat it was pleasant to have you here i hope you enjoyed it that you learned something from it and uh, see you next week